All right, we are here with another athlete that is participating in the Chicago Triathlon coming up at the end of August and also doing the corporate challenge that we are learning more about through Super Tri and the athletes uh, that are participating and fundraising for this event. So tell us who you are, who you're with, and what you're doing with regard to the fundraising effort for your corporate challenge. Well, my name is Nina. I am. Um, I work for Lori Children's Hospital, so I joined their corporate challenge team. Awesome. Um, I heard about it through one of the global emails, and I just got really excited about it. And I hadn't been really excited about an athletic goal like this in a long time, so I was like, I have to do this. So the excitement of that and then also the opportunity to raise funds for the Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders is yeah. a huge opportunity. So that's been great. Um, getting friends and family involved and excited to support that organization has been great. That's great. And now, have you done triathlon before? I am a beginner. You're no, beginner. This is my okay. first. Yes. So we are here at Ohio Street Beach for what would have been uh, another round this evening of open water swim sessions and clinics uh, hosted by Super Tri and the Chicago Triathlon. Unfortunately, we're having weather issues right now. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get a few more athletes coming in that we can talk to about their open water swim experience. So, so far, uh, it sounds like, Nina, that you came in. You were supposed to have done your evening open water swim. Now, have you done some of these clinics before leading up to your race? And if so, how have those gone and what's your experience been like? So I've done one clinic um, with Open Water Swim here. Thank you so much. Um, and um, that went well. Yeah, it was the uh, last slot, 630, and we're split up into small groups, uh, maybe like 10, 12 people. Um, everyone was really welcoming. The instructors um, were hands-on, and they were... Um, very vocal, very open with sharing information and um, just with like swim technique, um, but also what to expect on race day, which I found really helpful. Um, they had both done the Chicago triathlon multiple times. So I find that information really valuable. Um, and I am signed up for other swim clinics in the future. So I'm sure I will be back for those. Um, and I'm excited for that. Great. What was your swim experience leading up to you this year? Oh, uh, dipping my feet in the pool and Great. enjoying sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. I knew how to swim. I learned as a child. But, um, yeah, I learned since my first swim clinic that I have a lot more technique to develop. So, What's been the best piece of advice you've received from the coaches so far at these clinics? The best piece of advice? Um, learn to control your breathing. Um Many people will get overwhelmed um, because of the sheer amount of people that you're swimming alongside. It's not a matter of if you get hit. <laughs> it's a matter of when because you're all on top of each other. Yeah. So I found that really helpful. Um, and yeah, so just controlling your breathing and breathing techniques. Um, so that has been my focal. Uh, that's been my focus with training for swimming. Great. Right. And opposite of the training, there's also the fundraising effort. How has that yes. been going for you guys? And uh, and are you how are you guys doing in terms of accomplishing your goal? And uh, what are you hoping to, uh, what is your ultimate goal? And, and ask if you were to uh, have a, uh, an ask for any of those that are out there that are watching or listening uh, to whether to donate or participate, support uh, the uh, the fundraising effort or purchase, uh, potentially participate in the corporate challenge to help raise funds uh, for Lord and Lord's Hospital. So I believe our team goal is $10,000. Okay. I know we're working towards it. And um, fundraising efforts have been steady. Um, I know friends and family have been excited. And so to keep that excitement up, um, I'm planning my social media posts All right. um, leading up to race day. And um, I'm blanking. That's okay. It's distracted very easily. Yeah, I know, yeah. So, it's a lot of food and drink, uh, a lot going on. So, uh, so uh, being here at uh, Cafe Oliva, you know, we got drinks coming, we got food coming. So uh, we uh, we will keep it rolling. So, uh, so, yeah, so it sounds like fundraising is going steady. You know, social media out there. Uh, uh, are you comfortable, uh, a little uh, anxious sometimes, like trying to do the social media posting and, and, and fundraising in that in that direction or in that context? Yes, 100%. Yeah, um, yeah it's not a comfortable thing for me. Um, but it's for a good cause. So yeah, before my first post reaching out to people, 
um, to my network. I was like, just put your big girl pants on, Nina, and let's make it happen. Yeah. So that's the attitude I go into it with. And they all know it's a great cause. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, we are all here uh, to help support you guys in any way we can. Get your message out. Uh, tell our listeners and viewers about uh, what the Corporate Challenge is about. Uh, what Super Try and Chicago Triathlon is trying to accomplish with regard to the Corporate Challenge and having this great opportunity to fundraise for amazing causes. And I can't think of one better right now than uh, for children's uh, cancer research. So uh, good luck to you and your entire team. Uh, how many of you from the hospital are participating in the event? Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. I have to get back to okay. you on that. Follow up with us. <laughs> yes. Let us know. Send us a text. Send us a message. And be like, hey, this is how many of us are participating. If any more of them would like to come on or, or provide their story, we would love to hear from them. Uh, but regardless of how many are participating, uh, we wish you all the best, not only at the fundraising effort, which is the most important, uh, but for everyone um, as a group, as a team, but also individually. Uh, I need a good luck on your triathlon. You know you're going to crush it. Uh, any uh, any uh, general hopes or expectations for the event? Is it just finishing for you? Uh, crushing that swim. What is your primary goal for the Chicago Triathlon? Crushing the swim, raising our funds, and feeling good at the finish line. Right. Not slugging to it, <laughs> but going through it with some gumption. Great. Right. Uh, well, if you keep coming to the clinics, keep working on that swim effort, uh, keep listening to all these amazing coaches that we have here uh, providing that same great advice, uh, then I know you're going to do well. Just stay relaxed. Keep moving forward in both the fundraising and on the events. So good luck. And we can't wait to see you at the finish line and congratulate and celebrate with you at the end. Thank so, you so much. Uh, any parting message for any uh, current or would-be triathletes out there on our Tri 312 channel? Y'all can do this. Don't think about it anymore just go and do awesome yeah thank you so much for coming thank on you. and good luck thank you awesome.